Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Tant channel. Today, we were talking about Edgar Charez versus Joshua Van. Bit of a short notice for Joshua Van. It was supposed to be uh, somebody else. Who in the hell is it supposed to be? Uh, Kevin Borges, which I think Edgar Charez was going to absolutely run away up with that fight. But this one is a little bit more challenging because of the great boxing, I think, of Van. He is a little susceptible to be. Um, um, kind of in exchanges make to make mistakes kind of like what Charles Johnson was able to do catch him with a big uppercut when he rushed him the thing that really I really like with Edgar Chavez in this matchup is, is his length it is his like seven inch reach Edgar Chavez 11 and 5 3 1 0 in 1 in his last five fights plus 165 underdog which seems crazy 28 years old 5 7 like I said with the 72 inch reach Joshua Van, 10 and 2, like I said, knocked out uh, about two months ago when this fight happens. Minus 205, 22 years old, 5'5 five, five, to the 65 inch, inch reach, you know, with him. 7 inch reach advantage for Edgar Charez. Again, I, I really, really like this matchup. I, I, I gotta be honest. I really, really like it. So average fight time for Edgar Chavez is 9 minutes, Joshua Van is 12 and 28. I do think Joshua Van has fought the better competition. Um, again, the heat on UFC is as 71. Okay, so he has a 6 or a 7 inch reach. Doesn't make that much of a difference to be honest. Strikes landed per minute 2.69 to 8.55. Accuracy is 48 to 52. Strikes absorbed per minute 4.10 to 6.34. Defense is 43 to 58. Here is where it is interesting. Right here, as you see, right here. So takedowns, no takedowns, 1.2 for uh, Joshua Van, which actually helps uh, Charez. Accuracy is zero to 50%. Takedown defense is 41 to 81. Again, here's where it's interesting, right here. One submission average for, for a 15 minute fight, 1.7. So over one and a half every 15 minute fight he is in so again he lost to Tyra but he had he had the most success against Tyra and I really really think that's something that needs to be talked about that's a guy that could be fighting for a title after his next fight so you know lost to Clayton Carpenter okay lost to Tyra he almost finished him if there was a little bit more time he probably has a guillotine which is crazy to say Beat Lacerdo twice with with by submission. Um, I'm pretty sure he submitted uh, Lacerdo. I'm overthinking it now, but I'm pretty pretty sure he submitted him. Uh, yeah, triangle. So again, this is the guy that has seven wins by submission, five of them in the first round. I don't think he submits Joshua Van in the first round unless Joshua Van gets wild with his takedowns and he can get caught with that nasty guillotine. That Edgar Charez has. So with his submissions, he has let's see, one, two, three arm bars. He has let's see, two guillotines, two triangles, uh yeah, and then a rear naked choke. I think if he beats Joshua Van, it's either a triangle or a guillotine. Now again. Again, what is interesting, if you look at Joshua Van, you know, he's had the four fights in the UFC, he's three and one. Zalgus, he went he got won a I believe he won a split won a split decision there. Zalgus was able to get a takedown. No, nobody is, is attempted a submission on him, which I think is kinda kinda shows you how how dominant Van has been against some of these guys. You know, even got a takedown against Charles Johnson. That is pretty crazy. Johnson did get a knockdown, which ended up being a finish. He has been taken down three times in his career, but he's also had three ta four takedowns of his own. So we've kind of seen quite a bit. Obviously, we've seen more of Joshua Van. You know, the, Ch oops, the Charles Johnson fight to me is, is really, really interesting because... Not long ago at all. Johnson, 90 of 195. He missed 105 strikes. There's a lot of output. The bigger strikes was, well, total strikes was 72 of 140. So significant strikes was 67 of 133, 88 of 191. One of one for takedowns, 0 for two takedowns for Charles Johnson. 
Now, they had zero control time. Zero. Not even, not even a little bit. Again, you look at per round. You know, Joshua Van was 22 of 46, 44 of 80 for Charles Johnson. Round number two, 44 of 83, 36 of 100. I personally started to think it was 1-1 going into that third round. And then Charles Johnson was able to catch him 8 of 11. He was able to catch him with a big uppercut to start that third round. Kind of a shocking outcome, to be honest. I know Johnson has some decent power in his hands, especially for the weight class that they are in. Again, that 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 outcome was pretty wild, to be honest. So, strikes landed per minute is 8.55. Accuracy is 82%. Absorbed, like I said, was 6.34. Takedown defense is 81. I don't think necessarily that Charez is going to be able to get a takedown on him. It's going to come from Joshua Van shooting in on him, probably against the cage. You look what Edgar Charez does very well. You know, he uh, he got taken down by Lacerda, kind of gave him the takedown, immediately threw up a triangle, and it was done done. Lacerda, both times, both times, Lacerda took him down, Charez went for a submission, boom. So, Tyera went for two takedowns. And then Charles threw up two take had two submission attempts. With Tyre did have one as well. Clayton Carpenter also took him down three times. That's on the contender series back in 2022. But again, started out his career 0-2-1. That's kind of crazy. And then of course destroyed Daniel Lacerda, who's terrible, let's be honest. It's hard because stripes absorbed per minute against Charles. I don't think he can get hit that many times by Joshua Van and stay standing. That's the that's the ultimate problem for me in this matchup. You know, he is 5'7", which, which, let me see, height-wise, 5'5 five, five to 5'7". Five, so, two inches taller also for Charez. Oops, I just moved the freaking thing, but... He he go he you know doesn't have great takedown defense, but he's also allowing fighters to take him down. So I think what what uh, uh, Charez is going to be able to do in this matchup is to keep that distance, make Van very uncomfortable. You know either he's going to close it all the way or he's going to keep it at a distance. Charez because Van because Van's very good at a boxing range. So what do you have to do? Close distance, you've seen Johnson had a lot of success when once he closed the distance, but even before the knockout. And then you've seen Johnson have a little bit a, a little bit of success as well outside because Van isn't in that boxing range. Did he get a takedown, like I said, so uh you force Van in a position to what? Go for a takedown. Make him uncomfortable. Front kicks, knees. You know, leg kicks in and out, probably a lot of teeps. Have Van try to catch one of those kicks and take you down. I like Edgar Charez. I'm picking Charez. I think he gets it done. And I have Edgar Charez by submission. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. See you at the next one. Peace.